Hello and welcome or welcome back. We moved into a new house about five months ago and I have really had a lot of fun decorating it. I do consider myself a minimalist, but a cozy minimalist is how I would definitely more specifically describe it. I love things to be cozy and warm and inviting. I did a video when we first moved in and showed you some of the furniture and some of the more basic stuff that I had done. So I will leave that video in the cards if you're interested in seeing kind of where we started with everything. But I have added several new things to this house that I feel really just kind of warmed it up, made it feel, again, just more welcoming and I love that. Let's go ahead and start upstairs. I'm gonna show you what I I did in the master bathroom and the loft. Several videos ago, I showed you this little area of my bathroom that I had started organizing. Originally, I had a little gold cart here and it was super cute. It had candle and flowers and I put my hand towels on there. I went ahead and moved that little cart because I needed it for my books. And I put the towels in this little gold basket this came from Home Goods, and it's just perfect right here. Then we have our towels here. Then I used to have my pillowcases in this basket, but I'm just putting toilet paper in it now, and that's working great. And then I added some greenery at the top. I did add these towels from Target, just because um, without that little gold cart, this space was really blank. So the cart came up pretty high. I didn't have towels there before, but it definitely needed them without the cart. I need to put them through the washer and get all the wrinkles out, but this is what this little corner of the bathroom looks like. It's really functional, but I also wanted it to look really pretty. Come up the top of our stairs we have a loft which we really love I still have so much I want to do up here I really think this is gonna be a cozy space when I'm finished this is the furniture that we had in our old house in the living room and we bought a new couch for the downstairs and just put everything from our old living room up here so I'm gonna get some curtains I'm gonna do some photos like a collage here of family photos and photos of the kids I think that's gonna be really cute. But I recently grabbed these pillows from Ikea and they're really perfect for up here. It just added a little something. These pillows I had before, these are from Hobby Lobby, but I just really liked this little pop because I feel like we needed a bit more color up here. I'll get a plant for right here and then hopefully add some more color with the photo frames and some curtains. But this space is starting to come together. The kids love to hang out up here. And then right across from the TV, we have this entertainment center that I painted white. If you remember from the old house, it used to be kind of an off-white yellowy color. I painted it white and it's perfect up here. I think I might even end up painting this loft. I think that could be really pretty. But this is just a fun little hangout area. And like I said, I'm still kind of working on it, wanting to make it just as cozy as possible. But I'm feeling really good about where we are right now and I love the addition of the new pillows. Coming down the stairs, we have this wall that I thought really needed something. So I added these hooks. These came from Target. And then this sweet little lamb's ear wreath I got at Hobby Lobby. I don't want to over decorate the space so I think I'm just gonna leave it like this I'm not gonna do anything else but I definitely feel like this added something I think it's really sweet I think these hooks are the threshold brand but again I will try and link everything I can all right so next I want to show you the main living portion of my house that I've been working on and this is just the living room kitchen and dining room area and I've added a few things I'm not quite done but I'm gonna show you what I have going on down here and the few additions that I've made so when you walk straight through my house through the front door this is my main living area this is my living room I used to have two little Ottoman poofs and they were so cute they came up from Target, but my kids destroyed them, and I kind of had the feeling that would happen. So I don't know if I should put a white 
coffee table here or maybe something a little bit more like a light wood. So would you please let me know in the comments what you think? I have this light wood basket here that I think would be pretty, but I just cannot quite tell what I wanna do for a coffee table because I feel like it would be nice, especially when we're watching TV. We can have our feet up, we can have some drinks. I did add these blue pillows. I showed them in a recent video, but in case you missed that, I did get these at Home Goods, and I really love them. I have three pillows here, and then the two blue, and I just think they really added something. I didn't have a lot of color down here, so I wanted to add a pop. I felt like we needed it so bad, so this blue was perfect for spring, but I do think it would work any time of year, but I just thought it was perfect with the stripe too because it just looks a little bit farmhouse. So that is what my couch is looking like. The last time you saw my kitchen, I had some white bar stools and they had come from Amazon. They were perfect for the time. Those were just kind of a fill in though because I knew I wanted to get some more wood tones in here. I actually found these bar stools on Target. I'm sure they still sell them. So I will try and again, find those down below. I really wanted to tie in some of this gold hardware that we have in the kitchen and just bring a little bit more of an earthy element. So I'm happy with those. And then we wired for pendant lights when we built this house and I'm so happy we finally got some hung up. These are from Amazon, if you can believe it. They were super affordable and they really add something. They're just nice and dim in the evening. We can have these on, but guys, we have a problem. These lanterns really need to be kind of centered above the island, like very square, and they keep twisting. No matter what we do, they just twist. They want to turn, they want to twist, and it doesn't look good. So do you know how to keep them straight? I am wondering if there's a little attachment we could put at the top to kind of hold it in place. I have no idea. I've actually never hung pendant lights or had pendant lights in a home before. So this is my very first time and I don't know what I'm doing. So if you could let me know if you know how to keep them straight, I would really appreciate them. But they're perfect. The gold is really, really perfect. It matches the gold hardware that we have in the kitchen, which came from Home Depot. And um, it's just the perfect color gold. I didn't want anything too brassy. I wanted a very like yellow gold and this was absolutely perfect so i will link them i cannot remember if i showed you this rug or not i either showed you on instagram or maybe another video so i'm sorry if this is a repeat but i did get this rug at home goods again just that blue that i knew i wanted to bring into this house and this rug is so farmhouse it was so perfect so the only thing is we need to get a little anti-slip Matt, I'll show you what we had there before. It actually wasn't working very well. So they make this tape that is double-sided and it is specifically meant to help rugs from scooting around the floor. You put it down on the floor, it sticks to the rug. It actually works really well, but the problem is it leaves a residue on the floor. I've scrubbed it up now, but it was kind of a nightmare to get off. If you've used this and it's worked for you, let me know. Maybe I didn't pull it up correctly, but it definitely left like this sticky residue. Okay, guys, I am dying over these curtains. This has been my favorite addition to the house to date. I love these. Can you believe they came from Amazon? I get so much off of Amazon. The rods came from Amazon, the curtains, they are 96 inches. And then what I did, which I've never done before, but I really like this. I added these little gold rings. They're clips, so they just clip to the top of the curtain and it makes it really, really easy to move the curtain. Plus I needed just a little bit more length for the bottom, so it was perfect. But again, this china blue, I feel like works really well in this space. And I love the china blue with the gold rods. I just think it's beautiful. And then I will just, again, try and link as much as I can. The chairs came from Amazon. The table was from Overstock. And then the chandelier I've shown before. Um, I will try and find a link for it as well. But I'm really excited with how this is coming together and what a big difference 
just adding those pendant lights and the curtains like what a huge difference that made so this is how everything is looking we still want to get some backsplash for the kitchen but i feel like we're getting pretty close down here or above this couch right here this is a really large window it's beautiful it lets in tons and tons of light i love it but i don't want to compete with these blue curtains in the dining room should i do just a solid white maybe a white with texture i think i'm going to do the same gold rod i'm going to order another one off of amazon and then pull the couch just a little bit away from the wall just to give me some room to hang a curtain but i do think i'm going to do like a textured white maybe a linen maybe even something a little silky what would you do but maybe you have another idea of what I could do instead of white. Maybe there's another color that's kind of neutral that you think would look really pretty in here. But let me know what you would do if you were me for this window right here. Thank you as so much for joining me today. Please go ahead and subscribe on your way out and I will see you soon. Bye.